What do Paris extreme weather, forests, elephants, and monuments have in common? Well, they were some of the big environmental talkers of 2017. But in case you missed it the first time around, here are five environmental issues that played out in 2017. In June, President Trump announced that the United States would no longer participate in the 2015 Paris Agreement, which united nearly 200 countries in the global fight against climate change. During a press conference, the president said compliance with the agreement would jeopardize American workers and jobs. I am fighting every day for the great people of this country. But it'll take more than a presidential speech to pull out. Because the agreement was already signed by President Obama, the U.S. promised to follow certain rules of the deal, meaning the earliest any country could leave is November 4, 2020. From Houston to Puerto Rico, 2017 marked a year of devastating hurricanes. In the U.S. alone, it's been estimated almost half a trillion dollars worth of property damage alone. Some weather experts believe Hurricane Harvey could be the costliest natural disaster in U.S. history at more than $190 billion. And the human toll continues to be widespread, especially in Puerto Rico. Officials warn that the island may not have its power fully restored until May 2018. But it's not just hurricanes that are causing extreme weather trends. According to NOAA, 2017 is on track to be among the three hottest years on record. This past year has been a what would be classed as a normal year, and yet we've seen even more horrendous um, weather impacts in the U.S. and across the world. Blazing wildfires ripped across northern and southern California in 2017. At the moment, we're in the midst of the largest forest fire in California's history ongoing at the moment. Salomon is referring to the Thomas Fire that ripped through Santa Barbara and Ventura counties. Before the December wildfires, October blazes in and around Napa Valley caused at least $1 billion in damage to insured property, destroying nearly 6,000 homes and businesses. Air quality suffered too, leading to some of the worst air pollution ever recorded in the area. The world's largest land mammal stormed headlines in November after the Fish and Wildlife Service lifted an Obama-era ban on importing elephant trophies from Zimbabwe and Zambia. Congressional leaders and conservationists say poaching harms the declining elephant population and also helps fund terrorist organizations abroad. But backers of the ban's lifting argue the opposite. They say that trophy hunting and safari fees generate income that goes back to the communities that live near the animals. And one day after the announcement, President Trump said he would delay the lifting of the ban until all facts were reviewed. President Trump signed an executive order that directed Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke to review 27 national monuments that were created under the Antiquities Act. In a September report, Zinke recommended that Trump modify nearly a dozen national monuments in places like Utah, Nevada, and Maine. That process officially began in early December when Trump scaled back two monuments in Utah by some two million acres. And the decision is likely to play out in 2018 too. Outdoor retail company Patagonia, as well as Native American tribes, vowed to take legal action.